Hello fellow problem solvers. So today we're going to be doing a problem from the USMO from 1978. Problem number one, cool inequality. It's not standard. Try it out for a minimum of 20 minutes, ideally 42 an hour, not more than 90 minutes. Would you like to go along with us? You know, just like, let me ask you this question. What, how are we even going to use these conditions to get her to get E? Okay, pause for like two minutes. Think about that. And the answer is, well, let's see, we have these variables are real numbers, A, B, C, D. And we have an E here and E squared here and some other va variables which are real numbers. Well, let's try to write E in terms of everything else in two different ways, because E needs to satisfy both of these. And for it to satisfy both of these, certain things must hold true. Now, what needs to hold true for the, and really the question is, what needs to hold true for these real numbers, A, B, C, D, for the E to be as we, need, as we want it to be, like large. If E is large, what needs, like what relationship do a plus B plus C plus D and A squared, B squared, C squared, and D squared need to satisfy together. Now pause for like three, five minutes and try to think about that. And the answer is, well, there's one relationship they really need to satisfy. And the relationship is that A squared plus B squared plus C squared plus D squared. And then we can like do this by cause sheet plus one plus one plus one plus one is greater than or equal to a plus b plus c plus d squared. This needs to hold true, okay? Now, what is this in terms of e? Well, this is going to be 16 minus e squared times 4. It needs to be greater than or equal to a plus b plus c plus d squared is 8 minus e. 8 minus e squared. And now what is this equivalent to? Well, we have, huh, we're gonna have four times 16, which is 64 minus four e squared, greater than or equal to 64 minus 16 e plus e squared. In other words, we're gonna have 16 e greater than or equal to five e squared. E is going to be we want to make it a positive real number. And actually it has to be, for this to be true, it needs to be positive. So we can divide by E and we get E is less than or equal to 16 over five. And now we found a maximum estimate for E that follows from this. And now are we done with this? And the answer is yeah. Because now we need to show actually that there exists these A, B, C, D, and D such that this is true. Now what needs to hold true? We need A over 1 to be B over 1 to be C. A squared actually over 1 to be B squared over 1, C squared over 1, D squared over 1. And so we need that to be true. Now if E is 16 over 5, let's see what we get. We get 16 over 5. 16 over 5 squared, we get this on this side. What do we get here? So an 8 minus 16 over 5. I'm just thinking now, is A equal to B is equal to C is equal to D, or are there absolute values equal instead? Because here we want, we actually have, we want equality here, so we need equality here. Equality. So with this in mind, let's see, we have 16 squared. Now I'm going to have a tough time just like figuring out if A, B, C, and D are equal. So let's do this one. 8 minus E is going to be C is equal to 24 over 5. 16 minus E squared is going to equal, is equal to this. This is equal to, what's it called, 4 times 6 over 5. So it seems when A is equal to B is equal to C is equal to D is equal to 6 over 5, we get that E is 16 over 5. And here we prove that this is in fact the maximum 
and this finishes up our problem. Now, the thing I wanted to show from this problem is how, are you, how do you prove an inequality like this? There are also fake solves. An example of a fake solve, a thing where you think you've solved it but not, is, let me clear this up, and the fake solve is really about you trying to see like, oh, what happens if I apply Cauchy on this, a squared plus e squared, one plus one, greater than or equal to eight squared, so I get 16 times five is greater than or equal to eight squared, and now I actually don't even know how you could come up with a fake solve at this. I forgot, never, never mind the fake solve, but there's many ways I saw people think about, okay, they are equal or they have, just like trying to do this directly, not isolating E can lead to a fake solve. But anyway, this finishes up the problem. It's a technique, it's a way of thinking about this. And with that, as always, thanks for problem solving.